everybody and welcome back to Time to Go. Bob here. Hope you guys are all doing well out there today. So today I am really excited to be able to bring to you guys a watch from a brand new company out of Canada. I being from Canada, I love supporting the uh, local watch brands. The brand is actually out of Windsor, Ontario, which is just across the Detroit River from Detroit, Michigan. So the brand that we're going to be taking a look at today is BCS or Border City Style and the watch is the Rum Runner. Now the name Rum Runner, which I think is a very cool name by the way, but it does have significance as this watch is taking inspiration from a period of time in history that involves both Canada and the USA in the early 20th century. We're going to talk a little bit more about that here in a minute, but let's spin the camera around. We'll take a closer look at the watch. All right, guys, so the watch, first of all, comes out in a nice little travel case here. These are just perfect for storage. You can see it holds two watches. They're also great for taking your watches away with you on vacation. Another little neat thing that is coming out with this watch is they are actually using AR technology, which is augmented reality, to tell the story of the watch. Before we take a look at that, though, the watch takes its design inspiration from the Prohibition years that started almost 100 years ago now, Windsor being a border city just across from Detroit was a hot spot during that time for alcohol smuggling. There was a lot of gang activity at the time taking advantage of the situation and smuggling booze across the border in some very interesting ways, including even driving their Model Ts across the frozen Detroit River in the winter. The dial on the Rum Runner draws its inspiration directly from this with the upper portion of the dial representing Detroit, the lower representing Windsor, and the open or skeletonized section representing the Detroit River. Even the sides here, if you can make it out just along each side of the skeletonized portion of the dial, is colored in whiskey brown. So back to the AR technology, when you get your watch, you're gonna get a card like this. This is basically instructions on how to use it. So you download the app. Once you have the app, you scan the image of the watch and it's gonna give you some more information on the inspiration behind the watch, as well as a bit of history. So I've actually blown this up into a bigger image so it's a little easier for you guys to see, but I just wanna quickly show you kind of what to expect with that. All right, so I have my app open here. All you have to do is hold it over the image, tap the screen, and we'll start getting some audio here. Thank you very much for supporting our first watch design. The Rum Runner design was inspired by events that transpired during the Prohibition era, particularly the... And I don't want to give it all away. If somebody's buying this, you can check it out for yourself. But there's some really fun information in there. And uh, I think it's just a great little fun touch and adds to the overall experience. As far as some of the measurements and specifications go, we have a case width here of about 41.5 millimeters. Lug to lug is just under 48 millimeters. We have a lug opening of 20 millimeters and a thickness of 11 millimeters. So nice size and proportions. The water resist here is 5 ATM, and we have for me kind of an interesting movement, the NH70A. This is actually my first experience with it. If I'm not mistaken, this movement was launched last year by Seiko. It's a skeletonized movement based off the Seiko NH35, but minus the date. It is hand winding and hacking. Really nice winding action, very smooth. The uh, crown, by the way, if you can make it out here, is signed with the Fedora logo, same as the logo at the 12 o'clock position on the dial. The dial here is silver with the Roman numerals at 3, 6, 9, and 12. We have a handset here that suits the watch really nicely. They kind of have that vintage look. Now these hands are not painted blue. These are actually heat treated blued hands. The case is stainless with some nice fine brushwork. The lugs have a good curve down towards the wrist. The case back is also brushed where we have Border City style, 5 ATM water resist and stainless steel etched around the perimeter of the display case back where we can see that NH70 movement working away. The uh, rotor here is uh, slightly decorated. The crystal, by the way, is mineral on the back and sapphire on the front with an AR coating underneath. 
The strap the watch comes on is a really soft leather with contrasting cream colored stitching. One of those straps that just feels great right out of the box. There's not really going to be any break in period. We have a really nice heavy buckle here signed BCS. And as a nice bonus, these are quick release. And I was actually surprised I've had quite a few straps that are quick release, but the spring bars are extra thick on these. So very nice solid spring bars. So let's take a quick look on wrist. So on wrist, the watch has a really nice feel. Just between the strap and the case shape, which you can see here hugs the wrist perfectly. It's really quite comfy. It's definitely a unique design, and I love how they've tied the design to such an interesting point in history. This watch, by the way, is going to be available through a Kickstarter campaign, so I'm going to leave links to where you can get more information on the watch in the description below. So go check it out. That's it, guys. Let's spin the camera back around, and we'll wrap up today's video all right so a big thank you to jonathan from border city style i really appreciate you giving us the opportunity to check out the rum runner really cool watch i uh, spoke with jonathan and there's some plans for future watches a couple of designs that sound really interesting so keep an eye out for those also give jonathan a follow at border city style on instagram thanks so much and we'll see you next time bye bye